the Charlton Charles. Judge Pete Games here. Welcome back to the web episode of the Pokemon Zeta Randomized Bravery Run Challenge. In the last episode, we started making our way through Victory Road. And in today's episode, we're going to try and continue doing that. But I really don't know this cave. I'm going to try my hardest to get through here, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm sorry if I fudge it. Well, I don't want to go through there. I clearly know I've turned. I clearly know I've made a mistake. I'm going to try and turn back on myself here. Yeah, I can't turn it back on myself. Okay, fine. I honestly don't know my way through this cave. Okay, it's not that way. Um, maybe this way. What I need is to get there. Ooh, maybe I do know. Maybe I know a way. Okay, maybe I don't. Um, maybe if I stand here. Nope, that's a that's gonna hit that's gonna hit me into a cave. Maybe if we go up here. I'm trying to figure out this place. I don't know what I'm doing so much, so I'm trying to figure a few things out. Hopefully I can find my way. Okay, right. How about up here? Nope, that's a full end. Okay. It seems that every entrance is a full in here. Okay. Can I go up? Nope, that's another full end. That's not going to help me. Um, here? What if I stand here? No, no, I've already done that. Okay, right, and we've already done the bottom play too. So there really is no way through this cave. Good job, uh, Pokemon Zeta's creator, uh, because there's no way through. You've uh, literally decided there is no way through this cave. Well done. I have nothing I can do here. I honestly don't know what I can do. Every way is going to hit... Uh, I'm going to fall into a hole. So the only thing to do is to turn back on myself and go downstairs and go and see if what's through that other waterfall. Oh, wait, I need rock climb. Which I don't have. Okay. I must be a way through. Must be, must be a way through. Don't know it off by heart, but there must be a way through. If only there was a way to hit one of these rocks. If only there was a way to hit one of these rocks. That's what I need. I need to hit one of the. I need to hit that rock. There, I think that's what I need to do. But how? How do I hit that rock? I've got to go this way. This seems to be like the only way to go. Okay. You can't go diagonal in this game because it's based on the same pattern as 5th gen. So that's four dimensions that I can work with. Can I go down? And up. Oh. 
I'm here. Okay. Uh, no, that's not it. Okay, can I go down here? Can I go down here? No, that doesn't help me one bit. Can I go down here? And, and across, maybe? Oh, if only there's another rock there. If only there was another rock. Because, like, that would have been good. I knew exactly where to go then. And I know everything would have been so cool. But no, there had to be another rock. There didn't have to be another rock. Are we here? Oh, I see where I need to go. I was literally almost there. One step further and I should, I should be there. Are you a battle? You are a battle. Okay, cool trainer Huffington has a trait as as a chairman. I try to I'm trying to maybe like have something content-wise in this episode, because otherwise it's just going to be me looking for an ice puzzle that I don't understand how to get through. So, I will just kill this guy and end his... I will just end his Pokemon so I can just have some kind of content. do do uh, Let's go into Zenny. And then we'll see. Because I don't really like ice puzzles. I'm not a huge fan of them. I hate ice puzzles, if you will. But they're kind of cool. I mean, they look kind of cool. But like, I hate them because I don't understand how to get through these places. And Thrash did so much damage to... From Dodo a Ho. Fungus. Uh, kickstart. Back into kickstart. Right, I will find my way through this ice cave. Because I'm almost at Elite Four. I cannot wait to actually see what the Elite Four looks like. But I'm going to have to wait a few more episodes. Because I'm thinking I'm going to be in here for quite a while. And I'm a Reap Sheep. Flamethrower? Dead from your Reap Sheep? Yeah! You'll live a bulldoze, but you won't live a flamethrower. Okay, right. Down here. Back cross. Okay, now. Did you really need to tell me that? Okay, it's not this way. It has to be the other way. I like how if you run and then jump into the ice, you go faster. I like that. Okay. Okay, it's not this way either. God damn it, I actually might lose. Okay, right, I've got to get back up there because that's clearly not the way now. I'm realising that now and that's not the way. Okay, so what about up here then? Nope. And every other way would, uh, any other way would... Uh, during the back row would uh, get me down to there anyway. I don't like this cave. I really don't. I don't know what to say, really. 
I mean, lack of progress really disheartens me to talk, really. Okay, that rock doesn't help. Yeah, that rock doesn't help. It'd be better to fall here because I can't do a darn thing there. I'm trying to figure out how to. Still trying to figure out this cave. My, my brain is stuck on trying to figure out this cave. And not talking to you guys because I want to. T but I want to talk to you guys, but uh, this cave is like getting me all types of do done in right now. Okay. Right. Um. I'm trying to figure out this place, but every angle looks like it's going to put me into uh, somewhere where I don't want to be. A hole, for example, is where I don't want to be, and every angle looks like I could be in a hole. Or does nothing for me. Night like standing there does. Or standing there, that does nothing for me, that's just a straight way down. You know what? No. Really? The second I stop using a repel, the second I run into a Pokemon? What the hell is that? Right. I'm here. Can I go? I can go right going going right towards the wall does nothing for me. Can I go this way? I can either go... The only way that seems like logical is to go left. But it makes me fall into a hole. But this has to be the way. You know what? I'm putting that repel back on. This is cave is annoying me. I'm putting that repel back on. What? I didn't even do anything. I just standing here is going to get me running into Pokemon. I guess just standing here puts me running into Pokemon. I'm sorry, RTK, you might be very dead. Okay. Stop it! Sorry, I got a bit loud there. I don't even get a chance to move. If you don't have repels, you, there's nothing you can do here. Right. I got a chance to move. I only have one repel left. I only have one repel left. I gotta make this count. Because I don't know how to get through this place otherwise. And apparently there's a load of Pokemon that want to battle me as soon as I lose as soon as I lose my repel. Okay, I can't it literally can't be done. This place cannot be done. I cannot do it. I guess I'm gonna run out of repels and end up just uh, losing the challenge right here in Victory Road. I'm out of repels.
Standing there does nothing for me. Um, and I'm now going to run into three battles. I don't know what to do about this Don Cave. Okay, I only got it into one battle. Cool. Right. Can I go... Like, I have to go this way. I have to go left. I have to go left towards this wall. I have to go this way. It's the only way. It's the only way I can go. But it puts me in... The... I don't get this place. I really don't. Every way puts me into a hole. There's no way to get through this place. You know what? I'm going to have to cut. I'm going to have to cut and watch a map. Uh, watch someone's tutorial of how to get through this place because I do not understand this place one bit. I'm going to try one more time. And then I'm going to cut. And I'm going to watch someone's. I'm going to watch someone's uh, go through this place in uh, East because I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. Um. I can't. F no, I honestly can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. I need. A I need to watch someone else's let's play to go through here. I really do. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna make a cut. I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna have to make a cut and see where I can go wrong because I cannot figure this face out. Okay, we are back. Sorry about that. Uh, the ice cave was particularly annoying, and then there was a whole invisible wall thing I didn't want you guys to deal with as well, since the fact I'd ran out of repels. So, yeah, I hated both of those things. They were both so annoying, so... I decided to skip them both, I uh, decided I'd struggle through them watching someone else's video to get through them, and, uh, you guys didn't have to worry about that. Because that's not cool, I probably sh I probably sh don't want you guys to see any of that because all of that is just going to be me screaming and being very, very annoyed by this game. And I don't want to be annoyed by this game. I just moved on my mic, didn't I? Okay, I'll edit that down. I just moved my mic during a live recording. That was a silly idea. Anyway. So, uh, you came at last. The Quasar League is just outside. This... Need to click on the screen, Joe. Cave. The Elite Four. Swagger, the Swagger's Challenge. The swaggiest challenge a trainer could ever ask for. Joanne. The time is, it's time for Team Yolo Swag's Reckoning. Go, go, my grunts. Swag, swag, swag. It's time to face Team Yolo Swag again. Swag Grunt has a polywhirl. Uh, he's got his own little cohorts here, and I don't like it. I really don't like the fact that you have your own little cohorts here, Jake. Am I using power? I'm using power jam. Okay, that's not going to do anything. So I'm using hydro pump. That does a lot. Okay, right. This will be dead. There we go. Dead polyrath. Level 69. And a crocker rock. Um, I'm just going to go into the level 69 now. Because that's the best thing to deal with crocker rocks. I'm sorry about this episode being an absolute train wreck. But it's the best I can do because this episode, Victory Road here is like, this is one of the most annoying Victory Roads I've seen. I do not like this victory road. K 
Cagnia. Uh, RTK. You're not good for this because you're nearly, you are out of moves. Uh, RTK is out of moves right now. We have no moves. I need to heal. Not because I'm like low on health or anything, it's because I'm really out of moves because I've ran out of repels and I have to kill every encounter in this cave. I can't like not kill things, I have to kill things. And like RTK cannot kill a Volpex. Because he's out of water attacks at this moment in time. I'm going to face the other YOLO swag grunt. Okay. And you start for a Pidgey. I need to switch into Beacon. And I feel like I'm going to sneeze, but hopefully I don't sneeze on film, because that would be annoying. Now let's cut that out, and I do feel like I'm going to sneeze, but... The problem with me sneezing is it's going to come anyway, so I can't, like, stop it. I can just hold it off until the end of this episode. Okay, you have a Granville now. Uh, Kickstart. You can sky up a cut that, because Fairy Type isn't invented in this game. Well, it's sort of in this game, but it's not actually in this game. Like, anything that gets Fairy Type is not Fairy Type in this game, and anything that you know, is fairy type from the SIP gen, is in this game, and is fairy type. Like, Sylveon, I think, is fairy type. And Xerneas is fairy type. Okay, you withdrew into a Tauros. Is that just to get the Intimidate off? Is that what you're trying to do, just to get the Intimidate off? You, uh, withdrew? Yep. That's really just what you wanted. You wanted it... You want to get the Intimidate off. That's all you wanted to do there. You knew what? If I got the Intimidate, you wouldn't kill. I wouldn't kill you. And Giga Impact is going to kill me. That's fine. There we go. Good thing I had two fighting types in this uh, team. I'm going to kill you too. You have Intimidate as well, but I'm going to kill you. Payback does nothing to me, Hammer Arm. You're crushed. Granville down. Nice. And a Petalil. And I just lost my Fire type. Well, it's a Petalil. It's not going to do too much damage to me. I guess what I could do here is go into King Boo. I mean, King Boo doesn't have anything to go against it, but I guess Shadow Ball will just do some damage for the moment in time. It just... that It can't really kill me. After you. That's fine. There we go. Dead Pedalil. Swag Grunt dead. You know, Joanne. You have quite a bit of swag. What do you say to do on your Team Yellow swag? No. Hey, not cool. Get ready to battle. I don't want to join Team YOLO swag. Why would I want to join Team YOLO swag? Your team sucks. I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. Your team is great. Your team is awesome. Your team is awesome. I am scared of your team now. I am scared of your team. You start off with Raikou, and Raikou is so much power. Raikou destroyed us in the 7th gym, and this Raikou could destroy us now. Crunch does nothing. Discharge did nothing. Bulldoze is doing so much damage. I'm going to keep on using Bulldoze. I'm going to keep on using Bulldoze. Paralyzed. Oh, I don't like this. Raikou down. All right, Bulldoze does so much work. Brakeson. I guess I'll go into uh, Gengar. Because RTK is literally... RTK is almost dead. He's not dead dead, but like he's dead dead to me because the fact is he has no water attacks and I have nothing to use on him. So I'm just hoping for, that I can deal with these guys. All you can do is set up the sun because you are dead, Blakeson. Grodal. 
And I guess I have to stay in because I have nothing that deals with Grodor. Uh, psychic? Yeah, just go for very powerful moves like Psychic. Crunch. Ow. Okay, the Strong Knight is strong. I'm fine. Shadow Ball, you're going to die here. You're going to die here. Grodel down. Okay, fine. Oh, this is getting hard towards the end. Palpatode. Don't like it, but Shadow Ball. Ooh, that does so much damage. Hydro Pump's going to kill me, isn't it? Oh, no, it didn't kill. Put me because of the sun. You may be victim to your worst enemy. Yeah, you may be your own worst enemy here because you could have killed me. But you didn't kill me because, well, basically you had the sun up. Um... Milk Tank has Heal Bell, a bell chimed. That's not really useful to you now, is it? There we go, Hammer Arm. That's a dead Milk Tank. That's a dead Milk Tank. It's a dead Milk Tank. Dead Milk Tank. There we go. Level 69 for Zenny. Ordino. I can stay in and on. I can stay in on an order now. Double Edge. Ow, that hurts. But I'm still alive, so I can still hammer arm you. And you're dead. Nice. We beat Shake. No way, my swag. You beat my best friend, the legendary Pokemon. I'll have my vengeance for this, just you wait. Team Yellow Swag out. I'm at the Quasar Plateau. The music in here is amazing. And I am here at I'm here at the Pokemon League. Yay! He loved my Pokemon because this place is dangerous. But I am here. And that is the end of today's episode. So in the next episode that we do, I guess we'll challenge the Elite Four. Do you think we can take them down? Because we're about level 67. I'd, like, I could train up to level 69. I'm going to have to look at what levels the Elite Four are and see what levels I need to go in there with. I know people say I shouldn't... Uh, people have said I shouldn't grind. But, I don't know. I need to look at levels. I need to find out what levels are the Elite Four. I know their Pokemon are going to be randomized, but their levels won't be. So, I'll have to see what their levels are and see what I can do. Because if I can do something, I might be able to do it. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Anything important? You, trainer. Nothing important. Okay, fine. Anyway, in today's episode, we made it through Victory Road. I know there was a huge cut in the middle of it, but, like, there was an ice floor puzzle. I ran out of repels. There was also a hidden wall puzzle as well. You guys didn't want to see that. I know you guys didn't want to see that. So I decided to do what's best for me and what's best for you and take that out. Because all oh, you're going to hear... If I did have the audio for that, would be just basically me screaming and me being angry, and I don't like that. That just doesn't make for good content. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I'm Juice Games, and I am out. See you again.